everyone, Zach here. So today I'm gonna to walk through a demo I did recently at Red Hat Summit Connect in Houston. So I was covering a couple of Ansible for networking use cases and the first one I wanna start off with is using Git to do a backup and restore of your network configs. So to get this demo started, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my <coughs> AAP instance and I'm gonna kick off my network backup job and then I'll talk through what will happen during that job and the reason why I want to kick it off is because it does take a few minutes. So let me come back over here and we'll look at the process diagram. So the backup job is what we're running right now. And what it's going to do is I targeted a group of hosts called Summit, which has a few Cisco always on sandbox devices. And it's going to go to each device and gather their configurations. And what it'll do is it'll gather the facts into the Ansible common data model and it will clone my Git repository that I use for my backups. And if there are any differences, Git automatically will recognize that for me. I will make a commit and I will push to the repo with a tag for the timestamp of when I just took that backup. And the benefit there is I can run this on a schedule and I can always be pulling configs and anytime there are differences, I can create a new restore point um, using a Git tag. So, scroll down here, I'm actually going to hop over to the backup playbook just to give an idea of what it really looks like. So in, in a lot of the playbooks I'll walk through today, there'll be a few plays. So the first play is always going to be run on localhost just to clone the backup repository. And you can see here it's pulling from this config repo URL, um, passing in the repo name, and it'll pull it down using a role that I have that has like just a couple tasks to pull down a Git repository. It, it uses a temporary key, um, which I've set up. So you will want to set up by putting your public key into your um, Git or source control management tool. And then I do specify to pull down the master branch. And the last thing is I just make sure that, you know, everything was pulled down correctly and my backups directory exists um, as I would expect. So just a quick preview of what that looks like. Here is my config repo, and it's got a backups directory and a configs directory. Um, the configs directory I'll use in a future, which is kind of a configuration as code type of demo. Um, and then it's got a change log, which we'll, we'll get to in a moment. So I scroll down, the next play is actually going to do the backup. So it's gonna run on each host specified by the job. So in and the job template I kicked off at the beginning there, you'll saw that I passed summit. So that was a group of hosts and that's what's gonna be used. So for each host, it's going to reach out to that device and get all of the resource modules available on that particular device. And you'll see here that I'm using a collection called ansible.net common. That's actually really important. It makes this playbook completely vendor agnostic. So it doesn't actually matter if I'm talking to a Cisco device, Juniper device, or an Arista device. This playbook will work the same against all devices. And once I've gathered those, it will actually go through and loop over each resource type and get the resource config for that particular resource. So that being like your ACLs, your interfaces, your VLANs, things, of, things along those lines. And then lastly, I basically consolidate all those configs and write them out to a file to that backups directory. Um, and the last step is after I've gathered all the device configs, um, I'll actually create that commit with a timestamp and tag it. And then this last piece here, I actually update a survey for my network restore job and add the latest tag. That way, when I go in to want to do a restore from any type of restore point, I've got a nice drop down select list that has, you know, all the Git tags available to me for um, restoring from the backup point. But let's hop back over to AAP and we'll see it is still running. So it's running against several devices. Um, and once it's complete, we will have effectively over here, if I come back to my Ansible network configs directory, um, when it creates that push, it's going to create an entry in the change log. Let's head back over there and see if it's done. And voila, it has completed. So let's go back to our repo and refresh our change log. And you'll see we have a new entry for today. And like I mentioned, there is changes to all four files, which is expected. So now if I go back to the landing page for this repo, I can click on tags. And I can actually click on this latest tag and do compare. And I'll compare it to the previous tag. 
Um, and when I do that, I can scroll down and I can actually see the changes. So if I scroll down to my actual device backups, so this is where you can get a really cool view at, okay, so the description changed for gigabit ethernet two. Um, it had been into, now it's configured by RestConf. So this is a good way to keep control of all the changes that are being made to your devices. And if you run on the schedule, especially you can pick up on any ad hoc changes that were made uh, by users. So now let's go ahead and I'm gonna go back to my demos and I'm going to do a configuration apply and I'm gonna do it to one of the devices. Let's see, I'm gonna paste it in here and I'm gonna say specifically, I wanna manage, let me delete these, gigabit ethernet three and I'm gonna say um, Autodose backup and restore demo as the description. And this is just a way to manually apply a config, right? So kind of similar to if a user were to go in and actually update the description on the device kind of ad hoc, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm doing it so I can show the restore and going back to the previous point. So my survey, I'll go ahead and paste in my host name that I wanna run it against and I will click launch. So this job should be a lot quicker because it's only applying to that one particular device. All right, and that have finished pretty quickly. So now let's actually connect to that device. And I just want to show that my change to that interface was actually applied. And there you go, you can see. So my Autodose backup and restore demo um, was successfully applied to that device. And the last piece that I wanna show is if I now do network restore and I go through and I use my, that same host and I choose that latest restore point. So the one that I created right before I applied that configuration, click launch, let it run. What it's gonna do is it's gonna actually go and pull down that repo for that particular tag. It's going to load up the backup for the device that I, I specified and it will apply the configs resource by resource. In this particular case, the only change um, to the backup should be the interfaces because I just manually made that change right after we did the backup. So we'll let this run and when it's done, we can check on the device and make sure that it was uh, successfully completed. All right, so now that that's done, let's hop back over to our device here and rerun that same command and voila, it was restored back to uh, the original description, which was just network interface. So I hope you enjoyed that demo. Um, as always, I've got some good documentation and the repo, which is linked to the Autodesk article in the description for this video. Um, and the markdown kind of walks through the high level of how things work, and then you can step into each playbook. Uh, as always, feel free to leave questions in the comments if you have any, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.